Namaste viewers, welcome to Jaipur Dialogue USA and Jaipur Dialogue on our short take today. You know, मैंने आज तक कभी राहुल गांधी को इतना कवरेज नहीं दिया जितना इस बार कर रहा हूं तीन लगातार दिस इज द थर्ड वन बट दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट ये इंपॉर्टेंट इसलिए है कि यू नो समाइम्स अगर पाव में आपके कुछ काटा चुभ जाता है ना तो वो नासूर जैसा बन के बन जाता है यू कांट इग्नोर इट एंड राहुल गांधी इज विजिट वी नो वाई ही इज डूइंग इट हियर नाउ ही हैज डन what is known as the secret visit to white house jaise hi unka ye unki jo yatra khatam ho rahi hai to uska silsila bhi ban raha hai ki white house gaye the details sabhi tak ubhar ke nahi aayi hain whether president biden met him or not we do not know but definitely mid level ke log unse mile hain but there is a reason why rahul gandhi is catching so much of imagination of america or american administration particularly डेमोक्रेटिक पार्टी एक बात याद रखिएगा कि वेन ट्रंप वॉज द प्रेसिडेंट ट्रंप गॉट अलॉन्ग वेरी वेल विथ मोदी जी एंड आई वॉज विटनेस टू सीन्स हियर इन इन मेडिसिन स्क्वेयर गार्डन एंड द विजिट टू ह्यूस्टन एंड रैली इन इन अहमदाबाद वेर प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैड ओपनली सेड अब की बार ट्रंप सरकार दैट हैड एक्चुअली टिक ऑफ द डेमोक्रेटिक पार्टी मेंबर्स हियर इन द यू एस एंड बीच बीच में उनको हमेशा याद आता है कि वी हैव टू टीच मोदी ए लेसन इसको भूलिए पॉलिटिशियंस डोंट फरगेट इंसिडेंट्स लाइक दिस नाउ वट एवर द रीजन मे बी डेमोक्रेटिक पार्टी हैज डजेंट हैव अ सॉफ्ट कॉर्नर फॉर मोदी लेट्स बी वेरी क्लियर अबाउट इट इज प्योरली प्योरली ट्रांजेक्शनल डिफेंस रिलेटेड मैटर इंडिया इज बिग मार्केट ऑल दीज आर थ्रोइंग अप इकोनॉमिक अपॉर्चुनिटीज that us cannot ignore considering the st- state of affairs that prevails in the us right now the social upheaval on account of varieties of factors as also the social upheavals being caused by unmitigated disaster caused by unregulated immigration so much so that california has passed rules and regulations that do not apprehend or report on shoplifting and shop thefts that's all those things you know the outward migration from california is beating the hell out of everybody from hollywood as well so there are a lot of disturbances happening in the us and the us is desperately looking for some stabilizing factor economy being one the famous statement is the economy is stupid that said why is rahul gandhi being pampered why who are the people supporting him why is white house keen on supporting or indicating its support to rahul as a potential opposition leader you must have heard about it all the western media talked about how the opposition leader rahul was being harassed by bjp so th- there is an issue here 2024 elections have come are nearby very close by we also know that they tasted success in karnataka then this they say they see the success of their karnatak formula and they want to repeat that nationwide so you must have read the read the report that opposition in 450 parliamentary constituencies is going to field one candidate a united candidate very very interesting development all to unseat and defeat modi but as the saying goes everything has a dual impact this is good for indian democracy trust me it's my thought that instead of the experiment of mahagathbandhan which has failed miserably they are now trying to project rahul gandhi as the potential leader of the opposition and if the opposition parties rally behind him perhaps they may have a chance not as a mahagathbandhan but rahul gandhi's leadership us government and the united states administration is probably tacitly endorsing rahul gandhi as a future leader of india of the opposition party not as part of mahagathbandhan but as a leadership role i think the united states is conveying to the opposition parties teammates 
Kejriwal, Mamta Banerjee, Sharad Pawar, and all the motley group of people, regional parties, that, hey, if you have any chance of defeating Modi or standing against him, you have to have a person who can stand unitedly. That is the game plan. This White House visit is designed towards that impression to convey to the opposition people in India that unless and until you rally behind Rahul, who we endorse, and the United States will endorse for the simple reason that Rahul, amongst all the opposition people, Nitish Kumar and others, Gehlot, Fellow, Jovi Ho, and all honorable people, Rahul Gandhi alone has a so-called national appeal. At least he's known. Whether it's of Nakli Gandhi family or Gandhi Giri, Jovi Kariji, at least log usko jante hai. Congress ki network hai. Abhi bhi. That will be good for India. You know why? Because then, ye jo chitput partia hoti hai na, jo sab apna apna pound of flesh nikalti hai election mein, wo band ho jayega. You know, jaise ki Karnataka mein JDU now wants to, JDS or jo bhi, jo bhi hai, JDU party hai, uh, wo, they are trying to team up with uh, BJP for 2024 election. Unlikely partnership, but hey, politics makes the strange bedfellows, right? So this is the game plan of the US and the Congress party is to somehow back Rahul Gandhi as a candidate for the opposition. And that's the game play. It's not about any love for Rahul. United States is far too pragmatic, far too transactional driven. And they are looking at it from this point of view that, hey, we meet all the people all the time. You know, when the people go, they meet the leader of the opposition, the shadow cabinet in UK, and people go from here to India, they meet the leader of the opposition. It has happened. So nothing untoward about it. But the gameplay is that, is to US is conveying to the opposition parties that if you want your alliance to succeed against Modi, you have to fight election unitedly under a banner of one projected leader. And US is willing to back Rahul Gandhi as that opposition candidate who could replace Modi should they win. That's the game play. That's important to bear in mind. In my opinion, that would be that would serve India well from these entire disparaging, entire desperate group of people who all want to become prime minister and they end up fighting and nobody ends up. People know the game. The people of India know the game that between Nitish Kumar and all these people who are there trying to be the prime minister, whether it's uh, you know Mamta Banerjee, bahut sare log ki ambitious pe tushara path hoga. You know that's that's also likely to happen because a lot of people will suddenly realize that their political ambition of becoming the prime minister will die because U.S. is backing Rahul Gandhi, and we know this from George Soros onwards. There have been massive money pumped in. They don't want their money to be wasted. And the only way that will succeed is if the opposition is able to put one candidate above everybody else. So these are the considerations for Rahul Gandhi's secret visit to White House. Uh, you know, let's not be too dismayed about it. Let's not be too disappointed about it because it's part of the game. The funny thing is, and that's very strange, that United States government White House is entertaining a candidate who is disqualified member of parliament. You know, disqualified not because of anything else, but because of charges that he lied. He didn't rectify his step. So a disqualified member of parliament is being given a very high quality official status. You know, a lot of people are writing stuff, but everybody today now knows what was Congress party and Rahul's gameplay. There is another very important aspect which I want you to bear in mind. Who is supporting Congress party and what has actually Congress party done for the country? At this point in time, we do know how Congress party single-handedly hurt India's history, Hindu narrative, and India's achievements and Hindu's achievements. They have completely undermined that. So I wonder what kind of a Hindu, knowing what Congress party has done, still supports Congress party. Beats the hell out of me, actually. 
Honestly, I, I, that's the reason why I'm not supporting Congress Party, because they have continuously, systematically damaged Hindu interests. In this visit of Rahul Gandhi, he's quoting various Muslim groups. Let's talk about that. I remember a show on Aaj Tak, I think. Uh, it was uh, Rajat Gupta ka show hai, Aapki Adalat. In that, Honorable Shashi Tharoorji was on the Kathgara. And he was lamenting that Muslims are very backward in the country. They are not part of the development process of the country. And Rajat Gupta asked him only one question. How can you complain this thing? Jabki Congress party has been ruling the country for the last 60 years and Muslims have been voting for you all the time. So what is the complaint of the Muslims and what are you complaining about? Why didn't you do something for them? And that's my message to Muslim groups. That's something which is important. I'm asking you, who has exploited you? What are you supporting Congress party for? Think for our country, not as a sectarian point of view that we are Muslims. Think about it from a welfare of the country. What has Congress party done for you? That you are up, aaj bhi unke piche piche bhaag rahe. After all, it is an 80% Hindu country that you are thriving and doing well. Those who have chosen to participate in the life of the nation. Third group, very interestingly, is a Sikh group. Think about it again. 1984, after Indira Gandhi's assassination, done by two bodies, Sikh bodyguards, which many Sikhs say that that was a disappointing moment in our history, in the Sikh history. Sikh massacre happened. More than 3,000 Sikhs were massacred. I am asking, Indira Gandhi installed Bindran Wale. What was the game play? It was again a Congress party game play. Divide and rule, divide and rule, divide and rule. Bear it in mind. I am wondering, why must any Sikh support Congress party? These are just food for thought. Congress party ko hume evaluate karna padega critically, eye with eyes open, and knowing what we know now. All right, I will end now. Thank you very much for joining us. Support us, subscribe to our channel. And you know, it, your support is vital. Give us the feedback. Satyamev Jayate, thank you for watching us.